Today I want to run through the story behind the design of the DIY camera arm. You've probably seen some pictures on my social media. Um, and I want to run through some of the features of the DIY camera arm. And I also want to show you the setup, uh, full instruction on how to set this up. The idea behind this arm actually came about um, when I added 3D printers to my garage. And um, ultimately, I was, I've been self-filming for five, six years now. And when I got into saddle hunting, I was using a camera arm that just the base and the arm alone was over six pounds. And when you're saddle hunting, you want to be as lightweight and as mobile as possible. And ultimately, I knew I had to do something. So I did a bunch of research, couldn't find what I was exactly looking for. This is truly a DIY camera arm because it does have some features as far as uh, configurations that you can, you can use. Some arms have three sections and this middle section is under. Um, so everything on here is simple fasteners, bolts. You can actually play with that yourself. I actually ran most of the season with this, this section underneath. And I actually personally kind of prefer that method, but it's up, it'll be up to you. Right now it's configured and the way you would get it to stack. Uh, and that was mainly for stackability. And now here you can see kind of the size. This is my hand. Overall, the, the weight of it is actually less than 18 ounces the last time I weighed it without the fluid head and the arm. So from a, from a design standpoint, I wanted something lightweight, uh, easy to set up. Uh, you know, you've got enough when you're, if you're packing sticks or steps to get up the tree while you're saddle hunting. The camera arm was another process of putting a base on, um, putting the arm on, fluid head, everything else that's connected to self-filming. So I wanted something extremely quick uh, and easy to set up on the tree and I'll run through that as well. Fold it up, I, I think it's roughly nine, 10 inches uh, lengthwise. Um, it will fold up nice and flat like that and fully extended then it does reach out to, I believe, 16, 17 inches uh, out from the tree. And with the standoff, probably eight, 18 inches. All right, I've uh, zoomed in here a little bit because the feature here is the camera arm. Um, you can see, we're gonna run through the setup now. You can see the size of this thing maybe a little bit closer. So what is included is the arm itself, um, the standoff and everything. The only moving parts are the adjustment screw and then the arm itself where it connects to the base. The standoff is fixed. So you get the, the, the arm with the base on and the strap. And the one thing you'll notice, this strap was specifically picked out uh, for this quick setup feature that I was looking for. A lot of camera arms will have a base that you put on uh, where you hook to put, hook a base to the tree and then you put the arm on. Um, I wanted something as easy as possible, just put everything on at the same point. Um, it's an OCB buckle strap. It's continuous, so it's got one buckle sewn on to the one end and then it's a, just a single strap. You run your strap around the tree and you're gonna run your tag end then through your closest slot. You get that and then you run the tag end back through the other slot. And that's what actually is going to do the tightening when you fold that over like that. So you're gonna keep that open, you're gonna keep that loose, and what's nice, because there's no weight on there, you can let that hang on the tree. So you're gonna get it so that you can fit your fist in there, about that much space, okay? And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your arm, fold it up, and you're gonna slide it underneath down to 
the strap location where that the strap will either fit in this slot I think I'm going to also maybe just make this one single piece and it'll just be right on the base itself okay so now it's it's loose in there and you want to back this screw off um, as much as, as much as you can to make the base so that it's leaning back towards the tree okay um, from there then you can take your OCB buckle tag end and just lightly pull it against the tree just to just so that it's snug but not tight so you're gonna hold it with one hand and then you'll get a feel as far as how tight you need that but it's fairly loose until you push that OCB buckle over now it's tight and so this strap is actually designed for tree steps if you're a saddle hunter tree steps so there's really no stretch in in the strap itself and then from there you will you'll notice that this thing is is pretty solid like there's no there's no movement in the base against the tree from there then you're gonna turn in a couple turns and get your base level with your eye or, or vertical with your eye I like it just just slightly off vertical because the weight of the camera arm then is gonna bring it down slightly and then from there you can put your your fluid head and your camera um, I sometimes and a lot of times like to keep my fluid head attached to my camera just to make the setup easier while I'm up in the tree and then I will spin my fluid head on or use the bottom piece um, spin that on and from there then my, my fluid head actually has a bowl on it um, you can do some further adjustment to level it out I notice that I'm uh, slightly off but you're ready to go at this point you've got everything ready to go ready to film um, one thing you'll also notice uh, you know a lot of arms are metal and they're and they're made that way um, because you need the strength uh, when out extended um, the DIY camera arm is going to come with a camo wrap on it and it's actually providing a little bit of of padding and actually silences some of the metal um, that's that's in the arm itself um, you can decide then if if you want to keep that or if you want to paint it um, or or put any type of stealth strips or anything on it as well. That is how you set up the DIY camera arm.